Well, hey there, everybody. Well, it's time to upgrade my chicken coop. I'm going from five chickens to 11, so I need some bigger space for them. Right now, I got my uh, pullets in here in this uh, little mini coop there, but they're going to be sharing some space with a few of the other chickens that I got, the other five, and I don't have enough room for them, so I'm going to have to do an expansion to that chicken coop. It's a decent coop. I've had it for a while. It's a repurposed dog house. Inside I got three nesting boxes. Got a couple doors to get stuff uh, to grab the eggs like the eggs that are right there. I got an old washer door that I use in order to uh, add food and uh, water but currently I got the water outside for them. And a little door with an overhang. So I'm going to be remodeling this thing. Turn it into a bigger coop. So I'm going to start off by using one of these Sawzall blades. Uh, they're both uh, the Ugly by Skill. And I think I'm going to start off with the pruning, or actually I'll start off with the all-purpose. And I'm going to go through that uh, plywood that I got there. And just cut a spot right about this level on it. And down here about this level. That way I have some frame to hook onto with the expansion. Also got to be able to keep the thing operational for the other uh, hens that are out there. So that way they still got some place to live. That is one ugly cut. Alright, well I got my first two pieces of wood connected. I uh, got them all nice and level. As you can see here on this one, and it goes down, that's only because when I put this piece of plywood on here, the plywood's actually not level. Everything else is level underneath. And I go all the way out, and there's my uh, first couple pieces of wood stuck onto my expansion. All right, well, I got the frame done. As you can see, I cut out a little bit more in the uh, old door here in order to get to the chickens in case I need to for an emergency right now. And I'm all framed up. Now I'm gonna run over to Lowe's and pick up some plywood so that way I can, uh, and some hinges, so that way I can put on a door, or actually a couple doors, and also uh, put the walls on this thing. So I just got back and I bought some thin, overpriced plywood. And to compensate for the thinness, I added some extra support beams down here on the bottom. Alright, so I used a very old Black & Decker two-speed jigsaw to cut the floor, that really thin uh, plywood there. Next, I'm going to spray paint it. That way it'll give it a little bit of a sealant and that'll protect from the uh, chicken poop that actually makes it onto the uh, plywood. There is one benefit of using this really cheap plywood here and that is it's flexible enough that I can tab it and come in and out of my uh, boards that I got across, my frame. Well I put in a containment for my chickens, took the door off, the old door sitting there, worked pretty good to clean out the coop but I'll be putting in something a little bit different here in a little bit. And for this back wall here, as you can see, I nailed it in there, nailed it in on the bottom. And for the top, in order to fit it, I had to take off or unscrew these. I always tell myself, drill them in. So now I can put these back in and this wall is finished. When I was over at Tractor Supply the other day picking up some chicken food, they had some nesting boxes on sale. They're not bad. We'll have to see how they hold up. Normally, I use an old milk crate and cut it apart. And these make really good nesting boxes. Before I get too much farther, I want to put in this solar fan. I'm going to be installing the solar fan in the corner up there. That way I can uh, keep the chickens 
a little bit cooler in the summertime and make them so they actually want to go into the chicken coop and lay eggs. All right, well I got the solar fan put in and then right here I also put in a piece of plexiglass that way they can get some light in there. Pretty easy solar fan. Uh, like I said, it's only about you know 25 bucks on Amazon and that'll keep them cool in here. All right, we're coming right along. Got my walls on out here in the uh, front of it. For the roof, I used some leftover plywood that I had, reused it, repurposed it. It's a little bit thicker than what I was using on the walls. Should hold up. I'm gonna be putting paper and then uh, shingles on it. Also cut out a little spot here for this upper hatch that I don't really use, but it's there for storage if I need to. All right, well, I got the roof on. And as you can see, it's not the same color as the original chicken coop. But I use what's cheap or free. And that's what I had on hand, so it saved me some money. Once again, I am not a professional contractor. And, eh, I do the best I can. Well, I got the hatch on for the eggs, or actually for the nesting boxes. So now I can just lift up if I need to. And I'm cleaning, put that up there. The main thing is I had to actually go and on all those, use my Dremel, because they were just a little bit too much and they were touching on here, it wasn't letting the door shut properly. But for the most part, this is gonna be pretty easy. Open it up, shut it throw that on so that way it won't uh, uh, let any critters come out I can still put another latch right here just to make it tighter a mechanical latch but for right now the uh, bungee is gonna be just fine all right well I got the doors put in the main access doors for cleaning I have an interlock so now I can open up both doors, clean out both coops at the same time, makes it easier to clean, and makes the uh, chickens healthier because they don't have all the dirt and muck and poop all over the place. Close it, put those in, take the bungee, put the bungee back. Now I could put a mechanical latch right here if I wanted to, uh, something that goes in, or hook it up here, lock it in. But for right now, like on the other uh, access hatch, bungee cord will work just fine. Well, he don't mind the chickens too much. Well, finally, I went and threw some paint, literally threw some paint on the rest of this thing. Put it on some of this old uh, plywood here plywood's way too expensive right now to try to replace all the plywood on the regular chicken coop or on the old chicken coop and we are all set to move these pullets in there once they get just a little bit bigger so I'm gonna feed them now somehow they managed to knock off the food container. Shocking. But they get all their food out of here. I gave them some uh, grass from last night when I mowed. Tighten that up a little bit on them. Make it so it won't uh, fall off as easy. Oh, they're hungry. Happy chicks. Throw a little bit more bedding material in here. They're good for a few more days. 
throw some food in the main coop over here. If you notice this right here, this water container, I leave empty in the summertime. Because, let's try to zoom in on it. Their water is right back there. This section, I opened up. Oh look, we got a chicken in the uh, nesting box. But uh, they're still producing a few eggs. They haven't moved over to the other uh, nesting boxes yet, probably because they don't quite understand and creatures of habit but it got some eggs anyway we're all set to go new uh, chicken coop expansion here old chicken coop a little bit of upgrade to it and as soon as the pullets get big enough I'm going to be moving them in to the main uh, run area they can come in they can grab their own spot figure out where they want to be and we're all set anyhow I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hey give me a big thumbs up Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening and have a great day.